Welcome to a very special classic game room because today I bring you the review of Zusar Vasar, a game where you drive robot animals hauling future death chariots on the Sega Dreamcast. It sounds like the greatest game ever created, is it? Let's find out! Released in 2000 for the Japanese Sega Dreamcast, Zusar Vesar is one of the most bizarre concepts I've ever heard of. And the first thing I did when I saw this game... That sounded good over the headphones, how's it sound to you? Anyway, the first thing I did was research this on the internet because I'm like, how have I never heard about this game? It features robot lions hauling a giant cannon on the packaging. Like, this is exactly the kind of weird-ass game that I like, especially when it's on the Sega Dreamcast, but do you know what Zusar Vesar's biggest problem is? Woo! Right to the wall. It simply can't live up to its own premise. It's just too damn cool. Robot animals hauling death sleds? That's a tall order, and this game tries to deliver, but falls a bit short. It's not bad, though. Zusar Vezar. Whoever had the idea to combine robot animals with future death sled chariots was either a madman or a genius. Or a madman genius. Or a crazy woman. It's a great concept. Rolling start with sea turtles! But they're not rolling, they're paddling. Come on now. There's two major modes of gameplay, the battle mode and the racing mode. The battle mode, which you saw earlier with the homing missiles and the machine guns, is just way too frantic to make any sense of whatsoever. It's not well balanced at all. If you get in the lead, you get shot and go right to the back. So you end up just in the middle of the pack the entire way through the game and it's a matter of luck. Now there's also a weaponless championship mode, and you'll never hear me say racing is better without the guns, but in this case it is. The championship is the best feature in the game, and that actually makes this worth owning. For the simple oddity of it, combined with average Sega Dreamcast era racing gameplay. Why wasn't this game released in the US? I'm sure it would have done very well. Robot animals, death sleds, come on! Look, deer! I'm driving deer! Normally I just drive into them! There's a nice selection of animals to choose from over the land, sea, and air. You've got lions, gorillas, deer, hyenas, sharks, dolphins, turtles, sparrows. Sounds like a smorgasbord. Mmm. Before each race, pick your animal and then equip a future death sled chariot thing. They've all got different attributes, but like most racing games, pick the ones that are fastest. Like tree sloths. They're not actually in this game. They should be though. Who doesn't love a good tree sloth? With mayonnaise on rye? Oh, <laughs> they're just terrific. The controls are like most of the other Sega Dreamcast racing games. You use the triggers to accelerate and brake until you get to the birds. They're super annoying because you steer with the triggers. Also, they're birds. Select your steel sledge. Sounds like an 80s heavy metal band. I like that. Steel sledge. For the championship mode, there's a variety of air, land, and sea races, so you pick one steel sledge for all of them. You can also race in single races or battle races, and there's some two-player modes as well. Zusar Vesar. Is a Japanese import, so you'll need a Japanese Dreamcast or a way to play Japanese Dreamcast games. It's not terribly expensive, but not one of the really cheap ones either. They're so close with this one. Maybe, maybe there'll be a sequel someday on the 32X. Ooh! 
Until then, I've got a classic game room shout out and thank you going to Nathan from San Antonio, Texas. Thank you, Nathan. If you like driving games on the Dreamcast, like Hydra Thunder or Episode 1 Pod Racer, check this one out if you have a way to play Japanese games. It has its moments, and the weirdness and oddity of it all makes it worth owning. Zusar Vesar. You gotta hand it to them, while the music's not great, it does fit the game. And for whatever reason, every time I play Zusar Vesar, I get hungry. Hungry for more Dreamcast racing games. Thanks again, Nathan. This one is highly recommended if you're into weird things like this. This review has been brought to you by Lord Carnage and the best of Classic Game Room. All right, if you're gonna buy the game anyway, buy it through ClassicGameRoom.com. Welcome to the club, it's the Lord Carnage Club, where I thank these backers on Patreon by shouting their name in a volcano from Within the Zone of Danger! Jeff Breyer. Jeff Breyer! Derek Langley. Derek Langley! Michael and Ariana Nelson. Michael and Ariana Nelson! Michael Fernandez. Those not named Michael Fernandez aren't Michael Fernandez. Steven Chucknick. Steven Chucknick. Al Stiver. Al Stiver. Rick DeBarros. Rick DeBarros. Jason Goy. Jason Goy. Sergio Matthias Hergert. <laughs> Chip Sinkbell. Chip Sinkbell. Busy Signal. Still busy. Sean Zoltek. Sean Zoltek. Philip Straubenmuller. Phil does the dance of safety in the zone of danger. Jack Stavris. Jack Stavris. Oh, hot cunning. Oh, 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 oh